My name is Sarah Colbreth. My name is Jeff Fingy. And we own Tater Knob Pottery and Farm. The business opened in 1981 officially. The most challenging piece that I've ever tried to create was a vase form from the beginning. It's an advanced throwing item. So when I accomplished throwing a narrow necked vase, I thought I had become a potter. I make some extra large pieces where I put two pieces together and re-throw them and that's probably the more difficult one for me. My favorite thing about the community is the general camaraderie between the academic side of the small community and the community side and the fact that those two sides work together to create quality, quiet, safe environment to be and respects the arts and supports the arts and has supported our business for 37 years is worth staying in. I don't look for ever moving. For me, it was uh, the college. It's what brought me here. I'm from Minnesota, grew up in the Chicagoland area, and I really wanted to live in the country and make pottery, and Bria College really helped me do that. I liked it so much. I've stayed here for 35 years now and love living and working out in the country like our studio is. I was trained really early on that when a person came to my home, my mother made us offer the guests a drink. So it just parlayed in. It was an easy kind of thing to offer something more. Some folks just stand around and wait for us to offer them coffee because our social media world has offered folks the knowledge that when you go out to Tater Knob, you'll get a, a good cup of coffee or a glass of their famous punch. My name's David Inge. Samantha Lyons. I was born and raised right here in Kentucky, in Berea. I'm from Berea as well. I decided to come home, join the family business, continue mom and dad's line of work, as well as continuing my line of work. I just fell in love with pottery because I grew up in Berea, um, and my mom was a staff member at Berea College, and she drug me to all the, uh, the apprenticeship second sales every year. So that's kind of where I got my first dose of pottery, and then was accepted into Berea and became an apprentice there. What gives me passion with clay is making big pots. I make lots of functional pots, repeatable items. Striving to make a bigger pot every now and then since it's not something that I do a lot. Starting out, everything is hard. So now what is difficult for me, figuring out your glaze. So the design of it sometimes, especially if it's something new, can be kind of challenging. The Arts Accelerator helped me in many different ways. First of all, just kind of getting out of my shell a little bit. It was kind of the first opportunity where I had to present myself and my work to the public, which is not easy to do if you're not used to that. And as well as the business side of it, it really helped with learning kind of how to keep up with things, um, getting some show experience. We use the same clay and the same glazes gives a huge compliment to us all the time when we're at shows to the fact where people say, oh, Tater Knob, we've got Tater Knob, our cabinets are full. And it's full of my mother and father's work. So it's a cool interpretation of life and art when people walk by and go, oh, I've got that. And then they see that I've made it. They have such a great relationship with Sarah and Jeff that they want to create one with us. Well, my, my pots stand out, um, first of all, because I use a different clay body. So they have a little bit of a different look. I use the same tater knob glazes that everybody else uses. And my forms are just a little bit different. And we've all just got our own style. 